Greetings, and welcome to a calculator thing. So we have a reason for having three unopened graphing calculators here, and that reason is that I happen to collect these things. Now, I collect them primarily because I'm a hoarder and I like to collect things, and these are of particular interest to me because they were, quite frankly, my first type of computer that I was ever able to program on. I use these primarily to explore computer science and actually gain very little value from their mathematical functionality. However, um, I have managed to obtain for myself today three unopened models of varieties that I'm rather interested in. Um, this package is damaged. That's fine. It's still brand new. Uh, ostensibly, it's unused. Maybe somebody pressed a button or two here. These are three very different models. Um, these are very modern examples of ARM-based CPU uh, calculators here. This is a more common example of a Zilog 88-bit CPU processor model. Um, I'm very interested in these Zilog 80 models because they are very easy to develop for. Uh, these ARM processors run much more modern software stacks, and so they're very interesting as well to explore. And, uh, yeah, so today I am going to open these and just unbox them for you. That's basically all I got. Boom, 83 plus. Now, of course, this was bought on eBay for less than its initial cost. Uh, I was not aware that I was getting a damaged package until after I made the order, but I'm not too upset about that particular damage. Now, we're not too interested in keeping this package intact, so I'm just gonna cut into it. It does not matter. These scissors are not the correct scissors for this job. However, all right, we got a little manual. Not much of one. Cable, that's good, I need more of those. And the calculator itself. Boom. Mistreating it. It's all right. These things are built like tanks. Oh, that also had batteries. Ta-da. Let's get these open. Physics. Physics is not my closest friend. Um, yeah, sure, it's the reason I'm able to exist as an entity in reality, but sometimes it defies my will, and I don't appreciate that about physics. Ooh, wow. Oh, hey, look at that. No initials carved into it. Uh, nobody's written their name on it with permanent marker. That looks like, uh, I don't know where that came from. Why it's on the inside of there. I wonder how the backup battery is. We'll find out. These batteries might also not be good, but alkaline tend to store for a long time when there's no power draw on them so we can expect them to function and boom yay we got a display not much to it uh, looks like it might be an older firmware that's interesting we'll have to update the firmware 
which may or may not be easy to get a hold of anymore. It's okay, we're mostly gonna use this to replace the firmware entirely. We're gonna be writing our own operating systems for this thing, which we are able to do thanks to the work of some community members who some time ago stood up to TI and uh, factored out the signing keys used to install the firmware on these calculators because the firmware cannot normally be updated without signing the firmware package with a key controlled by Texas Instruments. Well, we don't have access to that key, but uh, with some computer research, they were able to brute force the keys for the whole line of calculators up to the CE series. We don't have those as far as I know. And we can install our own firmwares now. So that's one reason why I have this calculator is one reason why I collect these calculators is to develop new operating systems for them. So let's move on to the next calculator. So let's move on to the HP Prime. Now this one I may try to get into without destroying the packaging. Let's see how easy that is to do or not. Did I destroy it? I didn't. Watch me cut into all the important uh, cables and things. One thing you gotta ask yourself when you're cutting is if I slip, Will I cut myself? And if you have your hands in a position where you think the answer to that is gonna be yes, then move them out of that position. I am less concerned about not destroying this box. Uh, I'm just getting frustrated with it still being open. And I absolutely whapped my oscilloscope with that blade because that's how impatience works damage your things that you care about. Including the thing you're unboxing. Welcome to David Destroys His New Toys. My brand new channel. On the YouTubes. So it looks like we didn't actually uh, destroy anything there. That's pretty good. This is typical of how I get into packages like this. I always tell myself I'm gonna do a good job to keep it preserved. And this time I told you that as well. And as usual, I was incorrect about it. David's new channel, uh, watch me struggle to open boxes. Brand new to the tubes, the YouTubes. Well, unfortunately, if you came here to watch me struggle, that was a pretty short one. Uh, but I hope it was entertaining for you for a while it lasted. Perhaps I'll struggle with this as well. Stay tuned to find out. Fancy schmancy. Now, one thing I didn't point out about this package is it has this little, like, thing here so that I was able to charge it while it was in the box still. But I don't like that because, uh, what if I went around to stores modifying these things to install, you know, malware onto the first computer it plugs into? There's no way to stop that. If if you have the right tools. I don't understand that. Okay. Welcome. Willkommen. 
it wants me to do things. Bienvenue. Oh, there's the bill coming. Okay, let's uh, let's be a calculator about it. How about that? Slide to unlock. Uh, there we go. It wanted me to slide the lock in the middle to the side of the screen. That's fair. Wow, I've never had such an amount of setup to do on a calculator before. That's really demonstrating to you that this is in fact an operating system for a computer. Um, it's not just as simple as, we'll keep it standard, plus touch screen. That's, that's the most exciting thing about this particular model for me is, we'll do that later, um, touch screen, CAS, numeric, uh, whatever. Whatever that is. Well, uh, this one I don't actually know a lot about yet. I know a little bit about high-level overview of its um, CPU architecture, how to use that, but we're going to take a look at just how hackable this is and... Uh, I'm excited about that. I hope you are too. All right, on to the next machine. Final calculator. And by which I mean the last one we have to open. This is certainly not the last calculator you will see on this channel. Um, this packaging looks a little easier to get into. I have switched to a much more appropriate package opening device. These gunky old scissors. And uh, I'm not going to try and pretend that I'm going to open this with any amount of cleanliness. It does not seem like you can get into this one without destroying it to some degree. This is the calculator that I am uh, probably the most excited about. Primarily because it does have a form of MicroPython, perhaps CircuitPython, but I think it's MicroPython um, on it out of box. Now, I don't know about the modifiability of this one. I believe the HP is known to be modifiable. Um, I didn't do a lot of deep research into it. Unbox, you fool. I may have to switch back to the knife. Oh, look at that. That just lifts off. Okay, I guess I just need to break these things then. So, by far, in terms of unboxing experience, the TI-83 wins. Because at no point during opening the TI-83 box did I struggle, except a little bit, which, again, if you're here to watch me struggle, welcome to the channel. Yeah, I think it does. This Just this back comes out. So I'm doing this about as wrong as it can be done. Unboxify. Unboxitization. Go now. Happen time. Yes, the secret has been revealed. You know, and it was so obvious. These things were staring at me like, hey, dummy, what do you think we're doing here? We are rivets. Plastic rivets. You are bad and I hate you. Uh, hate's a strong word. I dislike you intensely. Plastic rivets go away. was many, many minutes of struggle. Pack packaging. Ooh. 
Safety first, y'all. Shots, the, the shot. Sacrifice the shot. To stay in a position where you're not gonna hurt yourself. All right. We did it. It happened. Successfulnesses are ours. We didn't even uh, do anything but embarrass ourselves in the process. So here we go. We've got documentation of some kind. Batteries, as I understand it, these, this model, the prism models in general, recommend that you use nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries instead of alkaline. Now, the documentation I read that on may not be correct, but it would be nice. These are alkaline. These are alkaline batteries. So they provided alkaline. So I'll have to double check. Um, I have nickel metal hydride batteries that I plan to run all of these calculators off of because I have very many of them. And you will see the calculator collection at some point. It will continue to grow, as you can see. And how do we turn this one on? On. Ooh, batteries. Now, I also do have the NumWorks calculator, which is another calculator that has a built-in uh, MicroPython implementation. And I'm interested to compare the two. And maybe I will do a video comparing them. I do tend to prefer the calculators like this that have um, battery compartments instead of built-in lithium-ion batteries, simply because they are more serviceable, they are more long-term repairable. Ooh, also another language startup screen, English, press exit. And I don't know what to press next, even though it says to press exit. As you can see, I'm not very familiar with these Casio layouts, but there they are, all unboxed. Nothing really exciting other than watching me struggle. I hope you enjoyed that. If not, uh, too bad. So here they all are, all unboxed. Uh, they came with various cables, USB-A to... USB micro, also this. This one has a weird, like, rubber thing on it. I don't know what that's for. This one's micro to micro. That's actually useful. I could use that for all sorts of stuff that I, I was just thinking I needed something like this recently. Uh, this one, of course, is just the serial cable for the serial port. Um, you can do calculator to calculator transmission with this, which I do plan to do. Um, Turn all of them on. Very interesting. Now I do have a lot more to learn about these calculators before I can really talk about them. You can see I was trying to do some Python here, but I couldn't figure out how to do lowercase letters. But you can see this has version 1.9.4 of MicroPython running on it. Uh, once I can get lowercase letters, I can actually start doing some things with that. Um, but yeah, these are, these are my newest babies in my collection. Um, this one, it's worth noting that I did go through the setup on it. I uh, figured out where the exit button was. It's right here. And it asked me if I was using nickel metal hydride or if I was using alkaline. And it told me that its accuracy at reading the state of charge of the battery depended on selecting the correct one there. So... We're running alkaline, but we do want to run them sustainably, so we will use nickel. We'll switch to nickel metal hydride pretty much as soon as possible, but I do tend to use the alkaline batteries supplied until they're done for, so um, I'm going to do a little more research. Apparently this one, I've heard it's recommended to use nickel metal hydride, so I might use these alkaline batteries for something else. Uh, anyway, I do 
this one has a, I do know that this one has a lithium ion battery in it. I don't know how replaceable that is. We'll probably explore that at some point. Um, yeah, there they are. Beautiful babies. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, and see you next time.